we will start our discussion with conducting materials first generally in any electrical machine designing the machine at higher efficiency is very important so in order to make sure that efficiency is high losses must be very low the common power losses in any electrical machine are copper losses and iron losses if it is rotating electrical machine frictional and windage losses will also be there so to improve efficiency losses must be minimum and one of the major loss is copper loss so we know that copper loss is mainly due to the resistance offered by conducting parts so to minimize copper losses we must design a transformer using low resistance conducting material and we know that the best conducting materials are copper and aluminium so let's find out some differences between copper material and aluminium material so that we can decide which material is used for transformer okay now i list out few differences between copper and aluminium there are so many differences but these are the two uh, major differences coming to the density point of view that means density in the sense the weight of the material for a given volume copper weight is 8900 aluminum weight is just 2700 that means i can say for a given volume copper winding weight will be almost three times more than aluminum weight and one more important thing is aluminum is abundantly available on earth surface therefore the cost of aluminum is always less compared to copper material okay however if you look at the melting point here copper has higher temperature withstanding capacity 1083 degrees centigrade whereas aluminum melting point is 660 degrees centigrade only therefore copper can withstand higher temperatures that is a superior quality and if you come to the resistivity point of view i have given the resistivity between these two conductors copper resistivity is 0.021 into 10 power minus 6 ohms meters and most important thing is that these two resistivity values are valid at a temperature of 75 degrees centigrade it is not at room temperature generally when a machine is under full load condition the average temperature inside the machine will be usually 75 degrees centigrade therefore i took the resistivity at 75 degrees centigrade and you can understand that aluminium resistivity is definitely more than copper this is one more superior quality for copper material next coming to the specific strength uh, in a newton meter 220 to 250 for uh, copper and aluminum it is 920 but in electrical machines uh, specific strength doesn't matter why because winding is inside the machine it is being wounded in slots and around the core when you come to transmission lines a specific strength is going to be an important aspect okay right let me uh, further continue the differences between this copper and aluminum and i will consider this resistivity as a major concern here okay now let's identify a few differences between copper conductor and aluminum conductor i took case number one in this particular case i am assuming there are two conductors aluminum and copper both are having same length as well as a cross-sectional area you can see cross-sectional area is the same length is also same therefore i can say both are having the same size or volume therefore for a given volume let us compare the resistance of these two conductors we know the formula for resistance of any conductor is equal to rho l by cross-sectional area and here both conductors are having the same length as well as same cross-sectional area therefore resistance is proportional to resistivity from this direct proportionality i can write aluminium conductor resistance by copper conductor resistance is equal to aluminium resistivity by copper resistivity don't forget that i am comparing at an average temperature of 75 degrees centigrade which is usually inside a machine every time under full load so already we uh, list out the resistivities of these two conductors aluminium resistivity is 0 0.034 into 10 power minus 6 whereas copper resistivity is 0 0.021 into 10 power minus 6 if i complete this calculation this ratio will be around 1.62 now cross multiply 
From this, I can write aluminium conductor resistance is 1.62 times of copper conductor resistance. That means for a given size, same length and same cross sectional area, aluminium winding will offer 62% more resistance than copper. If resistance is more, obviously copper losses will also more. If copper losses are more, definitely more temperature will rise. If more temperature rises, the melting point will reach very quickly. Therefore, aluminum usage in electrical machines is limited. Copper is the most superior material compared to aluminum as far as electrical machines are concerned. Alright, now let us see case number 2. I am comparing once again aluminum winding and copper winding. Let us assume that I have two electrical machines. Machine A is using aluminum winding, machine B is using copper winding. Both machines are having same size that means the length of the winding and cross sectional area are same. Once again both machines are having same size. IAL is the current carrying capacity of machine A, ICU is the current carrying capacity of machine B. Imagine if I wanted to design these two machines for same temperature rise as well as a copper loss. Suppose if both machines has to generate same temperature, definitely both machines should have same copper loss. Therefore, I would like to equate aluminium conductor copper losses to copper conductor copper losses okay if copper losses in both machines are equal obviously the temperature rise in both machines are equal okay now we already calculated when both conductors are having the same length aluminium resistance is how many times of copper resistance 1.62 times of copper resistance okay now i can cancel these two resistances so IAL square is equal to 1 by 1.62 into ICU square. From this I can write IAL is equal to approximately 0.78 times of ICU. So most important thing is that don't forget I considered a case where two machines are designed for same size. The length and cross sectional area of conductors are same. And also these two machines are generating same temperature that means both are having same copper loss. If that has to be satisfied the current carrying capacity of aluminium machine is 78% of current carrying capacity of copper winding machine. That means indirectly if I use aluminium as the winding how much percentage capacity we are losing approximately 22 percent capacity will be reduced therefore point is this question appeared in one of the PSU examination the question is two machines A and B having same size machine A is designed using aluminium conductor machine B is designed using copper conductor for the same temperature rise machine A capacity is how much percentage less than machine B okay that means aluminium conductor capacity is 78% of copper that means 22% less so aluminium capacity is 22% less than copper okay therefore which machine will offer more power capacity means the machine which is using copper conductor as the winding will offer more power capacity. Now let us discuss about case number 3. In this particular case what I am assuming is I am assuming there are two machines. Machine A is designed using a copper conductor. Machine B is designed using aluminium conductor or machine A is aluminium I2 actually and machine B is copper and I am also assuming that both machines are having same amount of current capacity okay that means I wanted to design both machines with same capacity power capacity current carried by both conductors are equal therefore what will be the difference in size in the previous case I took same size and I concluded that current capacity of aluminum is less than copper but this time I wanted to make sure that current capacity is equal and temperature rise is also equal in that case how to compare the size between these two conductors okay. So case number 3 is 
same current capacity and same temperature rise okay most importantly same temperature rise means same copper losses should be there with the same current capacity that means i can write i square into r a l is equal to i square into r c u both are carrying the same current therefore i can cancel i square therefore indirectly aluminium conductor resistance should be equal to copper conductor resistance in case if both are having the same size definitely resistances cannot be equal that means there should be a difference in the size and what is the formula for resistance rho l by cross sectional area this is rho copper into length of copper by cross sectional area of copper this is cross sectional area of aluminium and i am assuming that both machines are designed for same length of material okay the length of winding is the same only the difference will come with cross sectional area therefore the length will cancel i am designing both conductors with same length and you know already resistivity what is the resistivity of aluminium conductor 0.034 times of 10 power minus 6 by area of a cross section of aluminium is equal to copper resistivity is 0.21 into 10 power minus 6 by cross sectional area of copper if you solve this particular equation aluminium cross sectional area sorry let me rewrite cross sectional area of aluminium conductor will be equal to 1.62 times of cross sectional area of copper conductor okay however length is the same length is the same but area is 62 percent more therefore indirectly the volume is also 62 percent more so please keenly observe this concept i considered two machines aluminium conductor machine and a copper conductor machine with the same current capacity as well as the same temperature rise in that case the machine with aluminium conductor will have 62 percent more size compared to copper conductor machine so overall three cases we observed let me uh, summarize the three cases first case you can uh, go back to the video and you can watch again first case both conductors are having the same length as well as cross sectional area that means same size in that case aluminium conductor resistance is 1.62 times of copper conductor resistance second case same size same length same cross sectional area and same temperature rise that means same copper loss in that case aluminium conductor current carrying capacity is only 78 percent of copper conductor current carrying capacity that means aluminium conductor current carrying capacity is 22 percent less third case it is not about same size it is about same current carrying capacity and the same temperature rise in that case aluminium conductor size will be 62 percent more than copper conductor size so these are the three important cases so from all these three cases i can say copper is definitely the most superior material however copper weight is more and copper cost is more and copper is not available on earth surfaces abundantly therefore it is a resource which will last not last for long time so but presently in the present uh, situation copper is the most recommended material for high power rated machines okay that means if the transformer capacity is more than 100 mva definitely copper is the material which is recommended whereas aluminium the advantage is it is abundantly available on earth surface and the cost is very very low okay weight is also very low but the problem is it has a higher resistivity therefore for a given size it will offer more losses that's why this material is generally used for low power applications especially if the transformer power capacity is less than 50 mva aluminium will be usually preferred okay that means distribution transformers okay and those cases aluminium will be preferred but for high power capacities copper is the best preferred material okay